The story goes that in a very distant place on a planet called Blaster, there are three beings with unimaginable powers, the most respected and feared beings by any deity. Neither the angels nor the king of all have set foot in that place. It is rumored that one of those three beings is the same father of Zenosama, and that also inhabits the same and only Saiyajin god, the proudest being that could ever exist. There is a third person, but this is totally unknown. They say that it's a woman, but no one knows, no one has been brave enough to enter the unpublished. We present the extinction of the Saiyajin race. Everything would begin a year after the events of the Tournament of Power. Goku would be training in the Room of Time because he wanted to become stronger. Goku, he would leave the room. His reflexes and skills have been polished a little more. However, Goku would know that training that way would not be enough, not even if he trained a thousand years more. Mr. Goku, why don't you ask Mr. Whis to train you? To which he would tell Dende that Whis no longer wanted to train him because he had not accepted the position for the successor of the God Destroyer. And right now Whis would be training Vegeta since he accepted the position. Although I really find it very strange that Vegeta accepted this position since she had previously rejected it outright, Goku would not care much seeing that he did not have much to do and that he was on Earth. He would go to visit his family because he had left aside all his family and friends. Goku would visit Gohan first. He would arrive at Gohan's house and meet Videl, who answered him that Gohan was not at home, that he was at the university. Videl gave Goku a sheet of paper with that address of Gohan's school. He would take it and fly away. When he arrives, he met Gohan. Gohan says, Dad, it's you. Goku replies, Hello, son. How long has it been? How are you doing? Goku and Gohan would be talking for many hours. It seems strange to me, father, that you would come to see me. Goku replies, I see. I haven't been a good father to you and neither to Goten. I just spend my time training without knowing anything about you. Gohan immediately interrupts Goku to tell him, Don't say that, dad. You're my true motivation. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have a family. Even because of you, this planet exists. When Goku heard his son say those words, he hugged him. Thank you, son. Gohan replied, Father, is it true that now my goal is to study and have a happy family? But now that you are here, I want to show you everything. Goku would be very interested in what Gohan would have to show him. Gohan takes Goku in an uninhabited place. Gohan says, I know I have not followed the path of fighting, and I am not as powerful as Mr. Vegeta or you, Father, but even so I have not stopped training in secret. I entered many times to the Room of Time to become stronger, and now I want to take advantage and show you my new powers, father. Please fight seriously with all your power. Goku would be very surprised. Even he did not believe the words coming from Gohan. Goku, without saying a word, uses a Super Saiyan blue form, adding a Kaioken. Gohan says, Father, you're very powerful. But even though I'm not at your level yet, let me tell you that I decided to surpass you. Gohan uses his mystic mode. Goku and Gohan have a fight. Each blow made the earth vibrate. All the inhabitants of the cities closest to where Goku and Gohan were fighting transmitted news of a great earthquake that would be witnessed. Even the sea is very restless. People screamed in fear. Everyone believed that it was the end of the world. Master Roshi, Piccolo, Ten Shinhan, Yamcha, Number 18, Krillin had felt that tremendous power. Piccolo rushes out to witness the fight of Gohan against Goku. Goku says, Son, I see that the training you have taken has very good results. I congratulate you. Thank you, Father. You're very powerful. Shouts a voice near Goku and Gohan. It's Piccolo. Goku, if you don't do anything, your son will end up surpassing you. Goku replies, Piccolo, is that you? Haha, <laughs> you can't even say it. He's very strong. 
But with the Super Saiyan Blue and the Kaioken, he gave me a little worry. To which Piccolo, smiling, would say to Goku, I'm sure you won't be able to handle Gohan's new power. Goku is confused by what Piccolo says. New power? Isn't this all his power? Don't be naive. It's true that Gohan has a family, and he has a life like any ordinary human, but he has never stopped training. I don't know if he told you, but now his goal is to surpass you. Gohan, use it! Use your new power against your father. Goku would be very excited and enthusiastic. That's right, father. What happens before? That was just a brief warm-up. Now I will use all my power. This is the real result of my training. Don't want to sleep in, cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella sure that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tied up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Babe, stabbed in the back bed, I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know be looking at Gohan without saying a word. Goku was brimming with great pride on his son's behalf. Goku said, Son, you're really impressive. I never imagined that you were hiding something like this from me. Damn it, I'm so excited. I feel like fighting like hell. Very well, father. What do you say we continue our battle? Goku would become much more serious in combat position. Son, I don't have to tell you. I will only tell you that I'm very proud of you. You really impressed me. I'll give you 100% of myself. Piccolo, somewhat annoyed by the emotion, shouted, Leave the chatter for later, and start at once. Goku and Gohan would face each other again. This time, the whole planet would tremble. The power clashes were too big. Everyone believed that it was the end of the Earth because earthquakes, tidal waves, strong winds and the clouds had become nothing. Goku and Gohan would be very equal. Gohan, with a huge kick, sends Goku flying to where Piccolo is. Piccolo says, What do you think? Your son is now very powerful. I know I keep saying it, but I'm very proud. And thank you, Piccolo. I know that all this is partly thanks to you. If Gohan is this strong, I imagine that you weren't left behind. Piccolo just laughs without saying anything. Goku replies, It's not fair that I don't use this against my son. He's giving his all in this battle. Goku with those words would leave Piccolo confused. Goku says, All right, son, get ready. Goku would shout to Gohan. Goku uses the Ultra Instinct. Piccolo would say in mind, This is fantastic. Father and son giving their all. Very good, Gohan. You've made your father recognize that great power of yours. Show him that you're up to the task. This time, a third round begins. But this time, Gohan did not land any hits. Goku's Ultra Instinct was more superior. Goku hit Gohan repeatedly with a punch in the face. Goku would send Gohan crashing to the ground. Goku would join his hands, getting in position to use the Kamehameha. Gohan would get up and look at the great power of his father. Piccolo says, Gohan, you can do it. You can do it. Finish with your father's attack. Gohan, just like his father, gets in position to use the Kamehameha. These two launch the attack at the same time. Goku seems to be very calm. Damn, my father in that form is invincible. What a great power. I'm proud to be the son of the warrior Goku, so I have to give everything in this attack. Piccolo would yell at Gohan. Come on, Gohan. Prove that you are the son of the mightiest warrior in the world. Gohan would increase his power by causing Goku's Kamehameha to recoil. Goku said, son, you're really amazing. Thank you for this, and again, thank you, Piccolo. Goku uses more power, making Gohan's Kamehameha disintegrate. At the last moment, Goku deflects the attack to the sky, making it not hit Gohan. Gohan would fall in his base form to the ground, almost passed out from exhaustion. Goku approaches Gohan in his Ultra Instinct form and tells him, Son, you're amazing! Goku falls to the ground in his base form. Piccolo approaches and says, Wow! Looks like this fight was a little close. Goku replies, Just something. Gohan, Piccolo, and Goku laugh. 
Piccolo takes out two seeds, giving them to Gohan and Goku, making them recover. Goku says, Thank you, Piccolo. What a good fight. I'll really have to continue my training, or you'll surpass me very soon, Gohan. After that, all the others arrive. Goten approaches. Goten says, Hi, Dad. I see it was you and Gohan fighting. You have impressive powers. Goku says, That's right, Goten. Your brother is very powerful. Goten says, That's right. When I grow up, I want to be like my brother. Piccolo says, When you grow up, why wait if you can train right now and try to catch up with your brother? Goten would be filled with motivation. The others would talk with Goku and their confrontation. Krillin says, What do you think if we go to Bulma's house to have a little party, since Goku is only in training, and he's never here? But this time, we have to take advantage that he's here. Tell me, Goku, are you coming? Asks Krillin. Goku replies, Of course I am. Goku answers very happily. They were all enjoying a great banquet of food when suddenly, without warning, the destroyer god of Universe 6, Champa, lands with the angel Vados. Gohan says, He's the god of Universe 6. Goku replies, What is he doing here? Champa would be a little nervous. Champa says, mm, Don't say anything to Bills. I just came to taste the delicious food on the Earth. Champa would say, Goku would ask him about the planet Earth that the god Bills had given him with the super spheres. That planet is still in the dinosaur era. There's no one to make me delicious food, said Champa, who was somewhat disappointed and angry. I must admit that I was also very excited to have a planet like yours, but I never imagined that there is still no one who can make us the dishes that they make on this planet. I never hated dinosaurs this much, said the angel. Fado's somewhat indignant. Well, if this isn't Bill's brother, eat all you want, said Bulma, inviting Champa and Vados. Champa says, I've been misjudging you, Bulma. You really have a good heart. Champa would join in with Goku and eat all the food. Goku says, Come on, Vados. Try this. It's very tasty. Goku would say, showing Vados a plate of pudding. Vados replies, Thank you very much. Vados would fall in love with the pudding when she tasted the dish. Goku would say, It is very tasty, isn't it? Goku would say, to which Champa answers, Yes, everything is perfect, but tell me, where is the dwarf who always hangs out with you, that Vegeta guy? To which Bulma answers to Goku. Bulma says, Vegeta, he's now training on Bill's planet. Since Vegeta will be the successor of the Destroyer God, Champa would be very surprised. That Bill's is going to have a successor? That's strange. Vados would ask why Goku would not be training with Whis. Goku would tell him that Whis did not want to train him anymore because Goku did not accept the position of Destroyer God. Vados would stare at Goku. Well, that's strange. Vados would say in his mind, If Goku is the most powerful in the universe, it's in their interest that Goku becomes stronger. In case something like the Tournament of Power happens again, something is going on. I'll go to my brother later to inform him. Hey, Goku, why don't you ask Vados to train you? If I'm well informed, Vados is stronger than Whis. Goku replies, huh? That's right. Vados, please could you train me? Vados would get a little nervous. Champa says, Come on, Vados, train him, as a thank you for this delicious food. Besides, this way Goku could bring us delicious food from Earth to our universe, and just think about it, to which Vados would only sigh. Vados replied, All right, but please take me to some of that pudding. Goku replies, All right, it's a promise. Gohan, you have to come too, Goku would say excitingly. Gohan replied, I'm sorry, Father. As I told you before, I have to be with my family. Besides, I have a lot of work and chores to do. Goku said, I understand, son. It's a pity. Gohan replied, I have already taken my oath to surpass your powers. I will continue to train and become stronger. Someday, I will defeat you and your ultra instinct. Gohan would say, Very well said, Gohan. Don't worry. Goku, I'll see to it that Gohan fulfills this purpose. Goku replies, I'm so proud of you. If you keep this up, you'll break all your limits. Goten said, Dad, then you're leaving again. Goku replied, Goten, son, I'm also very proud of you. I can tell you've been training too. Don't worry, I'll be back very soon. I promise to be back next week. Krillin says, Hey, Goku, tell me how far you want to go. You're already very powerful, but you still want more power. Tell me what motivates you. You all, my family and friends, you're what motivates me the most in the Tournament of Power. I met many very powerful warriors and today, I just met the great power of Gohan. I can't let Gohan surpass me. I have to make it difficult for him. 
Remember this. You never know when we will meet an extremely powerful being who wants to disappear the Earth. We are the ones who can protect it. That's why every time I can, I must become stronger. Piccolo would only smile and say, It seems that Goku from before is back. The next time you come to Earth, you will face me. I also want to use my new powers against you. Goku would reply, I promise. Goku said, looking at Piccolo. Vado says, All right, Sir Goku, then we're leaving. Don't forget to take some of that pudding. Goku is traveling to Champa's palace. Champa says, All right, here we are. Vados, take care of Goku. I'm going to take a little nap. Vado says, All right, my lord. Just make sure the nap doesn't last 20 years. All right then, Goku. What do you want to achieve? Goku says, It may sound a bit ambitious, but right now, I just want to break the Ultra Instinct barrier. That phase is very powerful, and I have almost mastered it. But I know I can be stronger. Vados would be speechless. Vados says, So... That's what the Saiyajins of the Universe 7 are like. Very well, I want to check your skill. Let's start by seeing how strong you are. Vados would ask Goku to face her. This is his Ultra Instinct form and attacks Vados. However, this is not able to touch Vados. And so they would take several hours. Goku would begin to tire. Goku would hit a right in the air trying to reach Vados. However, Goku loses the Ultra Instinct. Vados would be taken by surprise. Goku to lose the transformation. This is unbalanced by the blow making his whole body Vala against Vados. This is to see Goku so close as if this would embrace her, would be very nervous. Goku's face lands on the breasts of Vados. This immediately is hit, being knocked out by Vados. Vados says, you're a pervert. Goku would be unconscious. Later, Vados would realize that it was not intentional. She just hit him out of instinct. She would take Goku to recover from the blow. Vado says, Very well, since Mr. Champa and Goku are sleeping, I will take the opportunity to visit my brother Whis. Vados travels to Universe 7, where Whis would be training in Vegeta. But look who came. Bills would say, this one would say, Come out, come out, wherever you are. No, he didn't come. I came alone. Hello, sister. Is something wrong? Vados would look at Vegeta training and say, Hello, brother. I ran into Goku and he asked me to train him because you don't want to train him just because he didn't accept to be your successor of Mr. Bills. Bill says, You ran into Goku. I'm sure Champa went to taste the food of the earth. Bills would start laughing. Whis would say, What's wrong, my lord Bills? Bills? Bill said, It is that when I won the confrontation of Champa against my universe, I gave a new planet Earth to Champa. I asked him to be in the dinosaur era, so he will have to wait many years until there is someone who prepares dishes like the one from our land. Bills would not stop laughing. Vado said, I see. Then that was the reason. Bills replied, That's right. But you mentioned that Goku is in Champa's palace. That's very convenient. Very soon a war will start that we won't be able to win. Bills would say very seriously. Vados replied, What does that mean? Whis would tell everything to Vados, who would be very scared and trembling with fear. Vados says, Is that true? Whis replies, That's right, sister. The target is Mr. Goku, so our universe will be the first affected. Vegeta also knows it. However, he wants to stay to protect his family and planet Earth. We cannot do anything, sister. I entrust you to Mr. Goku, and do not tell him anything about this. Otherwise, he will have the same fate that will have Mr. Vegeta and the other Saiyajins of the Earth. Vados replies, And you agree with that, Mr. Vegeta? Vegeta replies, If it is my destiny, I will take it. I train to protect my family and the Earth, and I will never run away without doing anything. But then, why do you let Mr. Goku not participate in this? Vegeta replies, Kakarot doesn't know anything, so he is not running away from anything. I myself asked Whis and Bills not to tell him anything. I hope you do the same. Vados would be impressed by Vegeta's words. But that's just suicide. Vegeta replies, maybe. But even with what I know, it doesn't matter if Kakaroto is there and uses his Ultra Instinct. We will still be annihilated. It's better that this airhead lives and becomes more powerful. Vados, without saying anything else, leaves. When he arrives in Universe 6, he finds Goku training alone. Vados says, you're still training? Goku would notice that Vados would be a little strange. What's wrong, Miss Vados? Goku asked. Vados replied, It's nothing. Now we will continue with the real training. 
Goku would still continue training under Vados' harsh teachings. Two more days would pass, and Goku was going to return to Earth as promised. So, Mr. Goku is going to return to Earth. And Goku says, that's right, I'm going to visit my wife. This time, I didn't visit her, I only met with my children. Besides, I have a pending confrontation with Piccolo, and I have to bring you that pudding that I promised you, the one you like so much. To which Vados answers, it's not necessary, Mr. Goku, said Vados, very nervous. Easy, a promise is a promise. You could leave me on Earth. Vados would be so nervous that she could not even answer because it was very difficult for her because she would already have an idea of what might have happened on Earth. But she would know that she could not do anything. So she accepts to take Goku to Earth. Goku and Vados, they arrive to planet Earth. Goku says, What's going on? Why is everything like this? The whole planet Earth would be as if it were a few hours away from exploding. The whole place was in chaos. Goku would be worrying too much because he didn't feel any presence. Goku flies in the air trying to find others. Goku says, Damn it! What happened here? While I was gone! Goku finds his friends Piccolo and for some reason also Freezer, Krillin, Vegeta, and Gohan. All of them would be lying on the floor as if they were brutally beaten. Goku could not believe his eyes because not only them, all the inhabitants of the planet, none of them were left alive. When he saw Gohan lying on the ground, he remembered his son's promise that someday he would overcome him. Also what he had pending with Piccolo and all the others. Goku breaks down emotionally and mentally breaking all his limits. Even the planet Earth, the whole planet would be filled with the power of Goku. He falls fainting onto the ground. Bado says, What was that? That transformation? That hair? Those eyes? It's not from... Vados would be deprived to see the power that Goku had unleashed. So it's true. That's why they want to wipe out all the Saiyajins. Damn it. Now what am I going to do with you? After Goku fainted at the sight of his family and friends killed, he would reveal an unusual power. Vados picks it up and would take it back to Universe 6. Vados says, Curse said Goku, what was that? The power that Aura is the same as she had. Why do you have it? I would have Fords referring to a person I knew. Vados would stay taking care of Goku. Goku asleep would be lamenting. Gohan, friends, no, why? This would be talking asleep. Vados replies, Goku resists. Vados with her power tries to calm Goku. Goku wakes up desperate shouting the name of his friends. My son, Gohan, and the others. Goku would say distressed. Vados, I was dreaming? Vados would be left without saying anything. No, damn it, what happened? Goku full of anger would let his power be expelled in his blue form. This would hit his head against the ground, making the whole kingdom of Champa tremble. Vados says, calm down Goku, please. How am I going to calm down? Who the hell did that to the earth and my family? I don't know, but you won't solve anything by lamenting. Everyone on Earth was killed! Piccolo! Dende! The Dragon Spears also disappeared. There's no way to revive them! Vados approaches Goku, hugging him, and says, Calm down, Goku, please. Goku, somewhat impressed by the act of Vados, calms down, and returns to his base state, to which Vados says, Goku, on Earth, when you got out of control, that power you expelled, is it the first time it happened? What are Vados talking about? Vados in his mind, he would say, I see you don't know. Perhaps he lost consciousness before he realized that power of his to what Vados would say to Goku. Goku, I have something important to tell you. Something important? That's right. Let me tell you that I knew about this, about what happened to all your friends, as well as Whis and Beerus. Goku would be shocked to hear that. Goku says, What do you say? Tell me it's lies, Vados. I'm sorry, I knew it. However, I didn't know when or at what time, but I knew that being from Blaster would be annihilating the Saiyajins of all universes. Even Kaba, Cauliflower, Kale, with all his race, was annihilated by that subject. Goku would be left without saying anything. Vados replies, Vegeta asked me not to tell you anything. He wanted to protect you. He knew the danger as well as your son and the others. They agreed to sacrifice for you. Goku hesitantly said, Guys, friends, I'm so sorry for not being there. 
If it's true what you tell me, Vados, I have to do something. Whoever did that, I will never forgive them. I want to know everything. I will take revenge for this. You said blaster? I will go there no matter what. Vados says, Goku, you have to understand that you are no match for inhabitants of Blaster. All those beings who live in that place, for the most part, are much more powerful than Zenosama himself. You can't take it lightly. Goku would be impressed. Suddenly, Fords gets a call from Whis. Whis, sister, are you there? You are your brother. That's right. At this moment, I'm with Goku. Whis says, the great Zenosama wants us all to meet him in his palace, especially with Goku. Very well. Right now, we will go. Suddenly, Goku is hit crashing to the ground. Vados would notice something immediately. What's going on? Who is it? Suddenly, an unknown being appears. Vados notices his presence. This is a sea who will be shocked. Goku would stand up and say, Who are you? Who the hell are you? Goku would be impressed to notice that he is a Saiyan. You are a Saiyajin? This one laughs. Ha 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 ha. Very well, worms. You already know what I came for. Angel, give it to me. Vados would be very nervous. Goku says, What is Vados talking about? Brawly replies, If you don't know, I will destroy this whole place. Who are you? What are you looking for? Ha, huh, I see you are the Saiyan who won the tournament of power. You're something famous. You asked if I'm a Saiyan? This will answer that stupid question. Then creates a ball of energy by throwing it into the sky, turning it into a large moon. This immediately changes its appearance to that of a large green Uzaru. Vado says, Goku, don't fight with him. He's very dangerous. He's Brawly, a being unearthed by Zenosama and angels. Brawly begins to cause destruction on all sides. And Goku says, What happens, curse? I don't understand. Anything, Champa awakens by the power of Brawly. This one arrives immediately to where Goku and Vados are. Champa says, Ooh, What's going on? I can't even take a short nap. Champa notices Brawly's presence, and that's when he looks at it and trembles in an uncontrolled way. Champa says, It's Brawly. What does that disgusting Saiyan do in this place? Brawly replies, Give me that power that will be able to face the same father of Zenosama. Champa says, Vados, I'll try to make time. Go away, Vados says. Mr. Champa, hurry up, said Champa. If we stay the three, the three will die. Warn the king and all and whomever you can. Vados says, But Mr. Champa, Vados, let me do this. You're important to me. Hey, Goku, I ordered it. Take care of Vados for me. Goku would be impressed without knowing anything. Goku would not move any centimeters. Champa says, run away fast. Don't waste time. Vados takes Goku disappearing from the place. Champa says, damn, I know I'm no match for you, but I will give you my all. What Brawly Ozaru would laugh at. <laughs> Brawly said, Ha 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 ha! The gods are very pathetic. Now they protect a Saiyan that low have fallen. You are only pure destruction. They are arrogant and stupid. Shut up! Better tell me how did you get out of prison planet? Long ago, all the destroying gods next to the angels locked you up. The only way out of there is for you to overcome all the powers of the angels and gods next to that of the priest. Brawly laughs. <laughs> Stupid god, don't underestimate the Saiyans. We are a warrior race. It is more than clear that I surpass you all. Now no garbage will be able against me. Champa was impressed. Champa said, It's impossible. It is true that you surpass the power of the gods, but you will never surpass the power of the priest, nor of Zenosama. Brawly says, God, don't underestimate me. It's more. Don't waste my time. Brawly with a quick movement rips off Champa's head. Brawly says, They will pay for what they made me go through, although I also have to thank you. Thanks to the priest with his children locking me up, I was able to obtain this power. Brawly returns to his base world. This is transformed using the transformation of the Super Saiyan Blue. This one with great power destroys the whole place. Brawly says, One less god. Well, for now, these damn are not my real target. My goal is blaster in the Zero Universe. Brawly disappears. Goku and Vado appears in front of the priest. Whis would already be there with Beerus. 
The Daishinkan says, Dota, you also arrived. Very well. You are the last. And also Goku. But where is the destroyer god Champa? Vados says, Father, no time would shout Vados. Whis says, What's wrong, sister? Brawly is here. Mr. Champa sacrificed himself to give us time to escape. Surely now this... Beerus says, Lords, don't say it. Beerus would shout, If what you say is true, that guy will not take long to get here. Goku would be very confused by all the commotion. Zenosama says, But that impossible, that guy is locked up on prison planet. Zenosama would not say anything. Zenosama would order Daishinkan to check prison planet. This, with his powers, seeks the planet without finding it. Daishinkan says, Great King, the prison planet no longer exists. Daishinkan said surprised. It was destroyed. It was made dust. Zenosama would be struck by the priest's words. All the destroying gods with other angels would be reunited by scandal. Daishinkan informs everyone about the news. All the gods would begin to tremble, and the angels would be very nervous, to which Goku asks, Who is that Brawly? What the hell is going on? One thing after another curse, to what the priest tells. Brawly is a Saiyan who grew up in Universe 1. No one knows about him. Not even the same destroyer god of the universe knew him. He simply appeared. I have made a fuss to get our attention. He defeated some destroyer gods. His power is immense. This, it would get out of control more. Turning into a large green giant monkey. Losing his mind. Destroying everything if we had taken a little longer. I even think it would have destroyed the whole universe one. Then I, with all my children, lock it and lock it up in a prison planet. We wanted something that only Zenosama, myself and my daughter Vados knew of its existence. We locked him up because we wanted to know the one who had information about the forbidden power. Goku says, power forbidden? That's what he was looking for when he appeared in universe 6. The Daishinkan replies, I know it was a mistake not to have finished with him when we could. If Brawly really destroyed Prison Planet, that means that his power now surpasses us. Great King, it is very dangerous for you to be here. You must flee. Zenosama would be somewhat scared. Zenosama says, Nothing will happen if it appears. I will delete it with my Hakai. A weird voice says, Try it, little conceited. It's Brawly, shouts the god Quitella. Brawly with an energy ball eliminates Quitella, demonstrating the terror of the gods about the power it has now. Zenosama would start to get more frightened. This Sirius tries to eliminate Brawly with his power of destruction. Brawly laughs. Zenosama is impressed as he can't do anything to Brawly. Brawly says, it is just as that subject told me. You cannot eliminate being stronger than yourself, as is my case right now. At the end of all, garbage will always be garbage, I would say very confidently. They thought they could run away from me. Damn worms! They'll pay for all of it! To which Wado shouts, Damned! Where is the god Champa? You talk about this garbage? As Brawly shows the mutilated head of the destroyer god Champa laughing evilly. Now give me what I'm looking for. Otherwise, everything will share the fate of this pathetic god. Brawly would say, referring to Champa. Goku would be shaking. A powerful enemy had appeared out of nowhere, showing terror with his actions. Brawly says, Let's go if they want to attack ahead. I'm waiting for you. Brawly uses a transformation similar to Goku's, a muscular body with white hair, giving off great power. Brawly disintegrates the head of Champa, turning it into cosmic dust. What's up, worms? Who else wants his head ripped off? After Goku and Vados escaped from the Saiyan Brawly, thanks to the sacrifice of the destroyer god Champa, these would appear in front of the great priest and the king of the whole after Vados warns everyone about the return of the Saiyan Brawly. He appears in front of all the deities, showing his terrifying power. Rubbish! Try to stop me now! The Daishinkan says, How come you have managed to get so much power? Brawly laughs. He hits Daishinkan. <laughs> Brawly would laugh evilly. Brawly says, Ha 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 ha! Now I have a unique power. What step, priest? Have you not seen my attack? What will you do now to stop me? 
You're no longer anything against me. Brawly creates a small energy. Brawly says, Now I will make you suffer like you have no idea. Brawly approaches the Daishinkin. Margarita, Angel of Universe 11, stands in front of Brawly. Margarita says, Damn, stop. I will not allow you to hurt my father. Daishinkin would be stunned by Brawly's blow. This one would be breathless. Do you love your children? Or maybe you just use them to make your job easier. Daishinkin dying would say, Stop! Daughter, run away! Vados says, Sister! Shouts Vados. Brawly would only laugh evilly, carrying more power. First, you will suffer watching how I kill each of your children. Then I will kill that smug brat Zenosama and take away the forbidden power. Vados and this have been frozen to see the tremendous power of Brawly. Daishinkin says, Stop! Damn! Brawly launches his attack. But before that, he's hit in the face by Goku. Goku's blow only makes Brawly's head move a few centimeters, to which Goku shouts, Get your father out of here! Margarita would be petrified by the terror. Whis appears! He teleports his father and sister to where the other angels are, to which Whis commands all the gods to protect Zenosama. All the gods surround Zenosama. Whis says, Damn it! Thanks, Goku. If it weren't for you, this would have ended badly. Daishinkin gets up asking, Do you have the power that Brawly seeks? So is father. I always have it with me. Daishinkin says, I will give it to Brawly. Vados would be impressed. But father... No, Vados. The power of this guy is immense. There is no one who can stand up to him. Also, if we do nothing, it will kill Mr. Goku and the great Zenosama. Vados says, Father, if you do that, you will be punished. King Toria gave me that responsibility, but for me the most important thing is all of you. I will receive my punishment knowing that you are the right thing to do, which is to protect you. Vados and Whis would be very impressed by their father's words. Vados would start crying. She hands a rare box to Daishinkin. So again you. A few minutes ago you were shaking, but you had the guts to attack me. Goku says, Damn as you dare. I will not let you hurt them. Brawly says, Son Goku of Universe 7, a Saiyan who surpasses the gods, I will propose something to you. Join me. Let us be the one who surpasses the gods. Let us be the ones who rule the world. I will tell you my plan to realize. Tell me, do you know that power is forbidden? I don't know, and I'm not really impressed. I'm not interested either. Brawly says, ha 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 ha. The forbidden power is all the sealed power of Uzaru himself, the founder of our race that inhabits Universe Zero. Daishinkin would be impressed by the information Brawly has. The Daishinkin says, damn, how do you know that? How did I know? There are many things you don't know, stupid angel. I know that the power is held by the angel called Vados. I will take the priest with me. He is the only one who can go to that universe. Isn't it true, Daishinkin? Daishinkin in his mind would say, This damn guy, he knows it. Who told him? The only ones who know about that information are those from Universe Zero. Zenosama and I. After entering Universe Zero, I will use the great power and kill our founder. And also, Brawly would look at Zenosama in the face. I will kill your father, to King Toria, and to those pathetic archangels. What is this guy talking about? Toria? Zenosama's father? Uzaru? Son Goku, join me and help me carry out my great plan. I would never agree to that. I don't understand anything you say, and I'm not interested in governing anything. I'm not interested in your ambition or the power of Uzaru, nor the Universe Zero, to which Brawly staring at Goku would say. Even knowing that the being who killed all your family and friends is in that universe. Goku freezes upon hearing Brawly, and he says, What did you say? EOS from Universe Zero. He was the one who murdered your whole family. Goku would return to his base form. This would not say a single word. Vados worried approaches Goku and says, Vados, tell me, did you know? Vados wouldn't say anything. She would be worried. Goku would continue. Did you know, Vados? That's why you didn't want me to return to my universe. Vados says, that's right. I knew what would happen. Vados, as you could do this to me, Gohan, Vegeta, Piccolo, Krillin, all of them were brutally murdered by that damn... Ugh, along with all the inhabitants of the Earth, my family and friends were killed. And you knew it. Why? Why? If I had known, I would have helped them all. Even if it cost me my life. Goku, you're no match for the people of Universe Zero. 
you have to understand. Vegeta made me promise not to tell you anything. They all fought for you to hide and save your life. At the moment, you did not have enough power to defeat an angel. You can never with someone who is far more above us as an EOS, Brawly says. <laughs> you see, that's the real face of those garbage. You've been deceived and betrayed. Brawly grabs the neck of Vados and says, You will suffer the same fate as your god. I will turn you into dust. Brawly creates an energy ball in his hand. Vados crying would say, Goku, I just wanted to protect you. I couldn't see you die. Goku didn't know what to do. Goku hears a voice in his head. Vegeta saying Kakaroto. Piccolo saying Goku. Krillin saying Goku. And Gohan saying Dad. Goku responds, Guys! Goku's memories appear in his mind. Goku says it's true. Vegeta is not the kind of person who would risk his life for nothing. If he risks his life, that means I should still be here. It must be for a very good reason. Goku looks at Vados, about to be killed by Brawly. Goku screams, Stop! Goku returns to use the transformation he used when he saw his family murdered. Zenosama, Daishinken, Whis, Vados and Brawly would be in for a big surprise. Goku says, Let go of it, cursed. Release to Vados, she has nothing to do with this. Brawly says, I see the anger, it made you get to that point. <laughs> Try to save her. Goku goes on to attack Brawly. He hits him in the face causing Brawly's head to move sharply. Brawly responds, That transformation is not yet complete. You have a long way to go to be at my level. Brawly squeezes the neck of Fords, just trying to break his throat. Goku seeing that his blow would not have much effect, would use the Kaioken in his new transformation. Whis says, Goku, can't master your new transformation. If you use Kaioken in it, you could die. Goku says, I'm not interested in that right now. I just want to rescue Vados. Brawly says, I'm curious to try your new powers. Brawly throws Vados into the air, causing her to crash to the ground. Brawly says, I will teach you the real terror in the front row. Goku says, damn. Goku launches his attack on Brawly. These two have a great battle. The great impact of their blows made the whole kingdom of Zenosama tremble. Whis says, This is awesome. Zenosama says, Goku has great power, almost as strong as my brothers. Brawly says, I am impressed that you're getting used to that power, but the longer, how much can you endure? This looks interesting. Goku says, I won't let you get away with it. Brawly laughing would say, ha 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 ha, I wait for you in Universe Zero, in Blaster Son Goku. If you don't come, I will kill her. Brawly would say that, kidnapping Vados and Daishinken. He disappears from the place. Goku would be shocked. But out of nowhere, Goku returns to his base state, screaming in pain. It faints to the ground. Wisp would be very shocked. Wisp says, that is the price of using a power that is beyond the comprehension of the gods. It is a more deadly punishment than when I use the Ultra Instinct. Zenosama would quickly go down to where Goku is and say, Everyone try to help my friend Goku. All the angels with their power try to get Goku to recover, but fail to wake him up. Whis would notice that Goku was not breathing. Whis would say, We have to do something. Goku is dying. I don't understand how we can't help you. Zenosama says, Goku is not an ordinary mortal. The Ultra Instinct and that power that resembles an Archangel. Whis says, Mr. Zenosama, what does that mean for my archangels, and what are your brothers? Brawly mentioned something of it. Zenosama replied, I'll explain everything later. First you have to help Goku. Beerus would say, Wait, Whis, 
What happens? Whis would reply. Our power is not enough for Gogo to awaken. His heart is paralyzed. If we wait longer, he will die. Beerus would be impressed because not even the assembled angels could do anything. Beerus would say, Is that the price for using an unknown power? Zenosama with a cold voice would say, Goku, when I use that transformation, totally surpasses my power. Beerus and the other gods together with the angels would be shocked. Zenosama would be very worried about Goku's situation. Beerus would say, Son Goku, you can't die like this, and whis. Son Goku, please, wake up. <laughs>